Hi, Book Two. Bill Rutenberg here, Rutenberg Library. Just uh, it's a Wednesday afternoon, and I just got up from my nap on the couch. Um, I really have no reason to make this video other than I just wanted to talk to everybody. Um, you know, with the the virus going around and everything closing. I feel like I'm going stir crazy already. Feel like I'm going out of my mind. Uh, so this video is going to be, I guess, a little bit almost like a Friday reads, except for it's going to be on a Wednesday because, well, I just wanted to talk to the community. But um, so it's gonna, it, I'm going to talk about a few things here, just to, you know, here, there, and everywhere. Um, but anyway, uh, so school, yep. Uh, you know, living here in Iowa, the governor officially started shutting things down and gave some advice to school districts to shut down, and my school has shut down for four weeks, and uh, I, I originally was panicking about this, you know, what am I going to do, what am I going to do, and the more I thought about it, the more I realized, you know what, this is all in God's hands, and there isn't anything I can do, so I need to quit stressing. And so, uh, you know, I was sitting there thinking about ways that I could, uh, you know, just make the best out of a, just a bad situation, really. And um, what came to my mind was, I'm going to use these four weeks and I am going to read. You know, at, at school, uh, we've got, uh, we, we work with this leadership program that, we'd, that we had uh, put together. And, and part of it is setting goals, you know, it's leader and me stuff and, and, um, setting goals, short-term, long-term, and at the beginning of every school year, uh, even the teachers are doing this with the kids, and we've set long-term goals, and my long-term goal was to read 40 books during the school year, and uh, last year, I think I fell just short of it. The previous year or two, I hit my goals and even exceeded my goals. I got clear up to 50 books two years ago, but last year, I fell a little short, and I didn't want to fall short again, and so uh, this year I did 40, and as Christmas rolled around, and then into January, and then into February, I started realizing, man, I'm gonna, we're getting ready to head into that busy time of the year, and I might not get my goal done, and it was starting to really bother me. And so, one of the things that I, I figured that I could do was I could make sure I knock that goal down, and uh, get my 40 books read. And so, that is something I've been working on for the last couple days. Uh, you know, Monday, Tuesday, and then this morning, um, I started reading The Return of George Washington. I've told you about this book, and uh, I am now 180 pages in. It's about 300 pages worth of actual text by the author, and um, it's a little bit, I'm having a slow go of it for whatever reason. I think maybe I'm just burnt out on George Washington just because I've read so many books on him lately. And I think I need to switch topics. And in class, we're getting ready to head towards the Civil War whenever we get back from our, our virus vacation. Uh, whenever we get back, we're going to be heading into the Civil War. And I think I might switch gears and start reading about Lincoln here pretty quick. Lincoln in the Civil War. But that's one of the books I've been reading. I should have that done here in the next two days or so. And then... Another book that I, I picked up was this biography, Lou, 50 Years of Kicking Dirt, Playing Hard, and Winning Big in the Sweet Spot of Baseball by uh, Lou Pinella, and, and he wrote this with Bill Madden. And I've been reading this the last two afternoons, and I am darn near, I'm 210 pages in, and it's about 300, eh, a little bit more than 300 pages, 332 pages. And so, so I should be able to finish this here pretty quick. If not today, it'll be tomorrow. I haven't read any this afternoon. I've been reading this one in the afternoons. And but anyway, it's really good. He he uh, he's quite the interesting character. If you don't know anything about Lou Pinella, um, this was also, by the way, a uh, I had a little. Uh, I don't even know if you want to call it a book haul. I picked up a couple books. Uh, this one I was at Dollar Dollar Tree in Maryville, and I found it for a buck. And you know, I told you a couple videos back that you could find you could find good baseball biographies for only a buck at the Dollar Tree. And it had been a while; it'd been probably a year since I'd gotten one. And sure enough, one came up. And I don't know if they just put them out. I haven't 
I guess, paid attention to it. I don't know if they put them out during the spring, right when baseball's about ready to start or what. But anyway, this was a good book so far. Um, I've, I have enjoyed it. Uh, the only, the only distraction that I have, I have found is just, uh, right when I get into the middle of it, my daughter comes down from her nap or wants to play Legos or something like that, but that's a good problem. I've had a lot of fun doing that and, um, you know, balancing those two back and forth with all my time off. So, uh, my little mini book haul, this was one book. And then I also picked up when I was going to the Dollar General trying to find the um, toilet paper, which is like non-existent in every store because people are just absolutely stupid and they go on toilet paper binges. It's like, oh my goodness, people, I want you to think about this. Toilet paper does not, you, you don't need to hoard toilet paper. This is driving me nuts. Man, I had to buy Dollar General toilet paper. <sighs> anyway, as I was standing there in line to, buy, to pay for my very, very cheap generic toilet paper, by the way, my mood might get even worse as the coming days go by, <laughs> to generic toilet paper. You never want to mess with that. Anyway, um... In the in line to, to buy my toilet paper, I looked over, and in the last several times I've been in there, I've seen this book, uh, Verena, uh, by Charles Frazier. And it was only two bucks there at the Dollar General. And it's, you know, it says, you know, best selling author of Cold Mountain. I liked Cold Mountain, and I thought, you know what, for two bucks, it's a Civil War uh, historical fiction, and, and for two bucks, can you go wrong with a hardback? brand new hardback and so I picked that up and I most likely will be reading that very very soon and so those three books are my reading list right at the moment now what else have I been doing here's a couple other things I got done this uh, the, these last couple days so I was holding for one of those book tube tags I was holding up my Frederick Douglass book that I use in class and a while back, I watched a video with, uh, with a couple booktubers who were fixing their books, keeping them, uh, you know, taping up their covers and stuff. And so if you can see the shininess on there, I did an absolutely horrible job. <laughs> as you, as you, can you see the, you can see the, uh, the lines there? Yeah, I didn't do a great job with this one. I've done a much better job in the past. But I got my book taped up, so at least it'll last several more readings. That's the idea behind it. And then also, we were reading uh, Little House on the Prairie to my youngest daughter. We've been starting to do that. Actually, Little House in the Big Woods, excuse me. And we noticed that this cover was really starting to come apart. So, I don't know if you could tell. Well, it's kind of hard. Oh, see the shininess there? Uh, well... I got that one all taped up. I probably did a better job on that one than I did this one. But I've got a couple books saved for later so that they can get a few more readings. Um, some other things I wanted to mention in this um, video about anything and everything. So last week we had parent-teacher conferences. And one of the things they like to do is they, put, they bring in the scholastic books down in the elementary library and the students can buy... Uh, you know, books for, uh, you know, decent prices. And a lot of times the teachers put out book lists of stuff if, if the parents and the kids want to donate books to the classrooms. And so they'll buy books and donate. Well, I did this in the, or excuse me, not the spring, in the fall, and got a couple books from the kids that I'd put on the list. Thought that was neat. And then this spring parent-teacher conference, I did not even get a list out, but one of my students ended up buying this book, Sabotage, The Mission to Destroy Hitler's Atomic Bomb by Neil Bascom. And uh, ended up buying this. She said, I thought you'd like it. And so she donated it to my school library. And since we have four weeks off, I decided I would go ahead and throw this on my reading list. I think it'll, it'll be something I can knock out pretty quick. But, um, you know, thank you to that student. I don't want to use student names online, but, but thank you to that student. So that's another thing. And then the last thing I wanted to mention, you know, you do a bunch of booktube tags all at once, 
And sometimes when you're going through stuff, you the more you think about it after you've done the video, you ever notice that other answers start popping up in your head like, oh, I should have mentioned that. Oh, I should have mentioned that. Well, I started having that happen. And one of the answers that popped up in my head that I wanted to bring up was on um, the booktube tag for Sean D. Stanfast, the how do you? And the last question on that book tag was, do you collect bookmarks? And I was talking about some of the bookmarks that I've got in my collection. And one of them that I left off that uh, I should have mentioned, I'm going to mention right now. And uh, it's going to be kind of funny to you probably. But I told you I, I like to use sentimental stuff for my bookmarks. And I don't usually buy bookmarks for the most part. Well... There is one set of bookmarks that I saw at, I think it was Target in the, in the dollar aisle. And it was Dr. Seuss bookmarks. And there was, I don't know, 10 of them for 10 different books or something like that in the package. And I bought these and my wife was like, why did you buy those? Are you kidding me? And I will tell you why I bought Dr. Seuss. My daughter's absolutely love Dr. Seuss Crimson, who's going to be 17 here soon. We used to read, uh, uh, what was it, uh, Redfish, Bluefish, we would read. Um, that was one of our favorites. I like had every line of that memorized. I could buzz right through that book. And then uh, my youngest daughter, the one that she really likes is The Cat in the Hat. And we've got voices for the two characters, and we have a lot of fun. We read it a lot. But um, anyway... This was a bookmark that I picked up specifically because my kids absolutely love The Cat in the Hat. And to me, this bookmark, anytime I see this, even if they're out of the house and, and long, you know, long gone married, and when they get to that point, I will be able to look at these and I will be able to smile simply because I will remember those childhood memories. Anyway, I wanted to share that with you. I meant to add that into my booktube tag and... Just absolutely forgot. Um, I don't have a whole lot of else right at the uh, a lot of other stuff at this moment. Um, I will do a book review on these two books I'm I'm reading. I should get those finished up in the next day or so, and then and then uh, like I said, I'm going to probably move to Civil War, and I'm also going to start reading some of the world history books I've got over here, and uh, start knocking those out since I've got time. But um, anyway. Uh, I had some time on my hands, wanted to make a video and just, you know, do a little shout out and say hi. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's safe and uh, enjoying the, if you're getting extra time, enjoy that extra time. So until next time, BookTube, happy reading.